It has become a can't-miss date on the amateur golf calendar. Now in its 16th year, the Georgia Cup once again features a one-on-one -on -one battle between the reigning U.S. and British amateur champions. And for several past cup winners, this has been a launching pad for a successful pro career. Do these players have what it takes? You'll get a good idea next. It's an early spring day at the Golf Club of Georgia, but winter has decided to hang on just a little longer. I'm Bob Pacella, your host for the 2013 Georgia Cup, and conditions for this matchup are, in a word, challenging. Rain is forecast throughout the day, with temperatures in the low 40s and some gusty winds added in. We appreciate you being here. It's our 16th annual Georgia Cup match. Hey. And I want to introduce our players, our British amateur champion from 2012. He plays out of the Rathmore Golf Club and Royal Portrush Golf Club, Mr. Alan Dunbar. Thank you for being here. I'm growing up, my dad was always playing, and I just thought I'd one day go and try and liked it, so kept at it. Growing up, I didn't really have a coach, so my dad was always a big influence and gave me a lot of good advice. He's not a very good golfer, but he has good knowledge of the game, and he was always there to point me in the right direction. When I was that young, I didn't know what I wanted to do, like everybody, but I just enjoyed golf and kept playing and kept getting better. And I think after I won in St Andrews when I was 19, and that was probably the point when I thought, yeah, I could make a career out of this. And our United States Amateur Champion plays for the University of Tennessee Chattanooga, Mr. Stephen Fox. <laughs> I really started playing golf in North Carolina and my dad got me involved when I was two. Uh, I was swinging in the backyard, just swinging a stick, not even a golf club, and somewhat resembled a golf swing. So then later on my dad took me to the driving range and kind of went from there and started my first tournament when I was seven and actually won my first tournament. It got a lot harder from there. Um, you know, I still have that same mentality playing. Um, you know, just going out there having fun. My dad's always helped with that, never put any pressure on me. So I still have that same mentality going in to a tournament, just having fun and being myself. The players will face off in a match play format on the Golf Club of Georgia's 7,017 yard par 72 lakeside course. We take casual water relief everywhere. I mean, it's not too bad. Hopefully this rain will stop and it'll just be cold and windy. Then it won't be terrible. I'm sure he's played in bad conditions as well, so I'll just go out and try and play well and see what happens. Playing in the rain, you know, the best best thing you can do is to stay dry, and you got to be 100%. You know, your mindset going into it can't be, you know, you're playing in the rain. It's going to be a miserable day. You got to have, you know, positive thoughts the whole day, and you stay positive. You won't be like you're playing in the rain and feel like just any other day. On the par five first, both players were short of the green in two. Fox's condition appraisal was spot on. Where's our rules official? Casual water. Fox won the U.S. Amateur after being two down to Cal's Michael Weaver with two holes to play. A birdie on the first playoff hole sealed the deal. I've always been taught never give up, so you know, stuck to my game plan. Um, laid up on 17, had a wedge shot from 80 yards to about 15 feet and made it. And then, you know, the luck comes in, I guess, a little on 18 where you know, that horseshoe's, you know, right back at him. And then, you know, I got lucky making a 25-footer on the first X roll. After that putt went in, I screamed at the top of my lungs, didn't hear the crowd at all. I saw my dad, you know, then was in the background, threw the flag up in the air and just ran to me. And I mean, I don't remember much from, you know, after that putt went in. But like that match, Fox would fall behind. Dunbar's chip left him with a short birdie putt to take the lead. The green was always reachable on two, so 250 front, three would hit it good and just come up short, so an easy chip and putt up. So. Like Fox, Dunbar needed a comeback to win the British Amateur crown. In his case, it was winning the final two holes after being one down to Austria's Matthias Schwab. Hit it terrible in the final, but I was putting great all week and I hold a lot of good putts. I mean, Matthias played a lot better than me to the green and he probably thought he should have won and just he was one up with two to go, and I finished with two pars and one, so 
sure he's a bit disappointed. And, but. On the short par for second, Dunbar wedged his second shot to 15 feet. Shot. Fox was twice as far away. Wow. <laughs> Good read. I think the key to the Georgia Cup in the match is going to be I always look at match players getting off to a good start, so I mean, you play the first hole as if it's a tie hole right at the end and take it from there. And so far, Dunbar was doing exactly what he wanted. Oh. He's a good player, you know, played number one, you know, got up and down for birdie and then hit a good wedge shot and just, you know, got to start flying it, firing at some flag sticks. Fox did not do that on the par three third, coming up short, but he made up for it with his second shot. With the weather, you know, my short game is going to prevail. I mean, my short game has always been a strong point in my game, um, so I'm going to rely on that. And after Dunbar missed his par putt, Fox had a chance to get a hole back. Nice. Other than that, I mean, with this weather coming in, it's just staying dry and, you know, staying determined. Don't let, you know, don't let the weather conditions, you know, influence how you play. Just, you know, grind it out all 18 holes. We'll find out who can grind it out better today. But it's early with British amateur champion Alan Dunbar, one up on U.S. amateur champ Stephen Fox of UT Chattanooga. When we come back to the 2013 Georgia Cup at the Golf Club of Georgia.